So I'd like to tell you today about the great all-American total solar eclipse. I'll end up sounding a little bit like a nut to you, a lunatic, if you'll pardon the pun, but it's a very moving experience. And once you have seen a total solar eclipse yourself, you will probably join that camp of lunatics. The great all-American total solar eclipse. Eclipse, 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 eclipse. Uh, anyway, uh, so the total solar eclipse occurs when the moon is exactly lined up with the sun, revealing this wonderful, tenuous, very hot corona. The corona of the sun is the outer atmosphere. It has a temperature of a few million degrees. Really? Really? Total solar eclipse. Now this is an amazing thing because the sun is 400 times bigger in diameter than the moon is. But it's also 400 times farther away. Really? And that means they look the same size in the sky. They subtend the same angle. And whenever you have a relationship such that the ratio of distances is equal to the ratio of sizes, two objects will look the same size in terms of the angle that they take up in the skies. Anyway, there it is through a yellow filter. And here the moon is coming across slowly. The partial phases take an hour to an hour and 20 minutes or so, something like that. All right, and then you get something known as Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads. Bailey's beads. Now that's sunlight shining through valleys between mountains on the lunar limb. You know, there are craters and there are, there are rims and things, and so you can see the moon's edge is not a smooth billiard ball, it's corrugated because of the various craters and mountains. And when the moon is exactly lined up with the edge of the sun, you can get lots and lots of these little bits of sunlight shining through the so-called Bailey's beads. They're hard to catch because they only last a second or two. A diamond A jewel. But the ring formed by the inner part of the corona and a little layer called the chromosphere starts becoming visible. So you get a ring with a jewel, a diamond. This is the diamond ring effect. There are two of them, one at the beginning, one at the end. They last a few seconds. This to me is perhaps the most magical moment of the eclipse because things are changing so rapidly. That's when the sky is darkening very quickly and all that because, you know, before when even one or two percent of the sun was still shining, well, that's still quite a bit of sunlight. Your eyes can adjust to that. But when this last little tenth of a percent or hundredth of a percent of the sun is visible, then it starts getting really dark and you're looking at this diamond ring and everyone's going ooh and ah. But if you have a chance to see totality, you really should, because it's very, very different. 99% eclipsed versus totally eclipsed is like the difference between being not pregnant and pregnant. It's a very, very big difference. You can't be 99% pregnant, okay? No, really. So, and I'm not even a woman. I don't even know what, how, how to experience it. But, uh, anyway, so. I'm not paying people, okay, to Whoa, react. Corona! So. The totality hasn't even started. Okay, right out now. Watch. Whoa! Whoa! There it is.
where it goes, okay? So it looks like a black hole in the sky. But it's not a black hole. It's my study book. But whatever. Woo! These are genuine reactions. No one's being told to react this way. I don't think they even know they're being taped. That might be illegal, but whatever. Wow! That, that was Alan Dyer. Oh, but look at that. That was me. Look at the shadow cone! Okay, there's that shadow cone. Alan Dyer. Shadow cone right there. So the people over the here... Founders of the shadow. ...do not see the cone. Yeah. All right, so a couple of minutes later... This was a long... Where people had settled down a little bit. Okay. Ten minutes after... A few minutes after totality, this cloud parked itself in front of the sun for 10 minutes. We were very, very lucky. From a sphere in the bottom. Okay, it's ending. Coming out. Coming out. The beginnings and ends are really something, okay? But the upcoming one is so short, probably no one will completely settle down. So that gives you some idea. A picture is worth a thousand words, a video is worth a thousand pictures, but uh, being there is worth a thousand of those, okay, a thousand videos. Eye safety, very important. To directly view the partial eclipse, you must use a special filter that blocks all but one part in a hundred thousand of the optical light and 100% of the ultraviolet and infrared light which could damage your eyes. So that's uh, very important to have the right kind of filter. Regular or polarized sunglasses just won't cut it, folks. No, not, in, not, in, not even close, okay? Anyway, August 21st, don't miss it, totally awesome. All-American total solar eclipse.